Yeah, yeah. What up, what up? I'm going to get us come on here for a few minutes and talk to y'all. Uh, the phone is there at 513-813-7979. That'll uh, get you connected. I'll talk to you while I play. You know, some of these other fuckers on here will uh, come on and uh, and just play. Or the, when they play the new games, they'll have their uh, buddies on the new game with them. But uh, with these old school games, you can't do that. And I'm not just going to sit here and fucking play. I'll, I'll talk to you too. All right? Cool. It's Friday. Married guy. Actually, my wife's out of town. Just me. My girls are upstairs. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. So yeah, 513-813-7979. I'll stay on for a little bit. And just play and shit. God, I love this game. I'm going to try some other shit tonight, too. Mm -mm. I got to turn the ringer on. I fucking forgot. You're going to hear me chewing and smacking on my gums. <laughs> We're live on, uh, on all the platforms tonight. I got it on uh, YouTube. Twitter, Twitch, and Facebook Live. So the whole, all, the world's colliding on here. I'll be shocked if anybody fucking really calls in tonight. Friday. Oh, speak of the devs. Oh. What up? What up? Oh. Hey, how's it going? Enjoying the turtle game, it looks like? Yes. <laughs> Wait, what happened to Connie? He hosted your uh, show there while you were on vacation. I haven't heard anything after that. Oh, Con well, his work schedule is all fucked up. He works during the morning time. So um, when he gets a random day here and there, we could have him on. But usually it falls on like a, a day that's like really busy, like on a Wednesday when we have Stuart W. Penrose or even on a, uh, a Friday when we have, uh, you know, wide open phones and stuff. And I don't want to take away from going to the telephone, you know? Oh, I get that. I get yeah. That. Okay. I just yeah. always thought it'd be kind of funny if, like, uh, got Country Jeff and Connie to do a spelling contest. <laughs> Something well, like that. Those guys, they don't like each other. You know, I, I got to call Jeff because tonight is the Jelly Roll, Jelly Roll concert. And... Uh, at 6.30, he was supposed to go and meet up so he could go meet Jelly Roll and stuff. So I, I I didn't get, I was supposed to get a video of their meeting and all that stuff. And now that I think about it, since you called, I didn't get a video or anything. So I wonder if it even happened. I texted him all the info tonight. And he never got back to me. So he's probably in jail. <laughs> <laughs> That's probably a good possibility for when I've been following and gathering. <laughs> yeah, but, but none of this is my fault. He'll He'll blame me on Monday. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Always your fault. You know, cast blame, never take, you know, accountability. Yeah. It sucks. Did anyone ever get all them songs right? No. No. No? Because I remember like, where I left off, no one was doing it. You're like, I'm just going to throw these tickets away. Yeah, I did. I flushed them. <laughs> and uh, the, the meet and greet. Cracking uh, me up. The meet and greet, I think, was just Country Jeff because he was the only one that got tickets. I had three pair, and I saved one for him. Um, and the two that I was going to give away on the air, I didn't do because the content, they were like, Oh, going to be caller nine or could it just be caller nine? Why are you going to play the fucking game? Nope. And yeah, I know, that's the type of shit meat does now. Now, where are you? Where do you live? Uh, I live in Southern Indiana. 
Oh, okay. All right. See, yeah, like when I was in Philadelphia and San Antonio was really bad too with the uh, people just wanting to be a caller to win shit. So we flushed them all the time. Happened in Philly. I know the Philly assholes say, oh, you callers are lame. They were just as fucking bad. Um, so, you know, it's it, it's it's just typical radio. Uh, oh, we call in every chance we can to, to try to get meat to fall for the shut up meat bit. Oh, yeah. On his new show? Yeah, we actually called in and won tickets one time to uh, the tattoo festival that was going on. We're like, oh, no, we just wanted to call and tell you to shut up. Oh, but on his new, <laughs> on his new show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's like, yeah. I don't know what happened to Jay Gilbert. We won't question that. But, yeah, he's got his spot now. Yeah, I don't know what happened. Uh, I mean, I'm sure they pushed him out. You know, that's how that well, works. Yeah. I mean, they, they pushed him out of pretty w- dry. They pushed him out of WBN, too, so... <laughs> That's the oh, way. Wow. Of, that's the way of the business. <laughs> they'll they'll push me out. Day, next day, hey, good luck. Yeah, they'll push me out too. It's all. It's what it's about. Oh well, damn! I just wanted to throw that out there. They don't uh, like each other, but that'd still be pretty fun and get them in the spelling contest. That'd be just great for everybody. Yeah, I just uh, I got to get them on again. Like when I get back to doing uh, you know Club Chris on Tuesday nights, I used to put them on together, let them fucking fight and stuff because there's no. You know, don't have to worry about hitting the, the dump button. So uh, maybe I'll get them going in, in the uh, the late fall when I get going again. Don't die on me, shit. <laughs> oh, you know, just uh, <clears throat> some people walking by, uh, you know, the, the air is thick around here. <laughs> Causes people to cough randomly. <laughs> All right, dude. They can't see I'm on the phone. All right, yeah. You All take right. care, man. Right, is it later. Bye. Bye. Indiana, check it in. That's good. Um, yeah, 513-813-7979 is the uh, number to get on here. Uh, what up? Hey, man. This is uh, Cole. I'm glad to see that machine's still working. <laughs> oh, hi, Cole. Where, uh, put your wife on. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I got the house to myself tonight. It's pretty good, nice. <laughs> good for you. The daughter's yep. gone. She's gone. Ha, it's great. Where did everybody go? Oh, uh, they went to a, a friend of hers, and I don't know. They're doing some art night. So. Yeah, right. It's a gang band, <laughs> dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, man. Yeah, I figured because my wife's out of town, um, and I fired this thing up to, the other night because we're getting into the fall where um, I'll start doing Club Chris again. So I wanted to see if all the software was still updated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm glad you're doing. You need to do this a little more, man. It's fun to watch. It's cool. Yeah, it's fun to. I'm gonna play other games. I wanted to get on and do this because uh, it pisses me off. This fucking turtle game. You know well, what it is this, too. You know that there's a this little game bit. Is rated one of the hardest games on the Nintendo. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, that makes sense. That bull. That that guy with the bull head at the end is fucking hard, uh, or the boar's head, but. Uh, you know, there's a little bit of a lag too because I'm using like a uh, like a stream, ca- you know, stream catcher thing. And, yeah, I can yeah. see it's kind of oh, it's lagging on your end. It's kind of glitching on our end. But. Yeah, I mean, it lags like uh, you know when I move, it's a little bit like off by like a half a beat or something. So it gets hard to play. Like I'm gonna bounce on to some other games here. Uh, I used to, I used to be really good at this fucking um. This 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 ninja game, but god damn. Yeah, like I said, man, this is actually rated. I think it's in the top ten hardest games on the NES. <laughs> yeah, well, that's funny for sure. It's hard. I haven't um, played Pac Man in a while either. <laughs> by the way, did you get my email about starting us a, a mashup band? Wouldn't that be a cool idea? No, yeah, I got that. No, it's not. That's why I didn't write back. <laughs> <laughs> I thought it was, man. You, you never see that shit. <laughs> well, you know, it's funny is uh uh like it would be kind of cool to have a band play all covers but play along to the a cappella of the real artist. Okay. Like, yeah. like Nirvana. Like I have a yeah. bunch of I have a bunch of Kurt Cobain a cappella. It'd be cool if bands went out there and played and he was singing, you know? kind of like a tribute thing or just yeah if you think about it it's kind of like yeah it's kind of like a tribute okay yeah Yeah. (laughs) and you have the real guy singing (laughs) yeah that's 
That's actually a pretty good idea. <laughs> you could actually sync it to the videos and have the video playing in the background, you know? You better have a pretty good band, though. You know, you got to stay in time with the vocals. You yeah, know I, I know. Mean? If you got I the know. original, yeah. Well, I think, uh, like, if you have some money to put into it you could uh in the in the, in the uh, inner ears you know click track it um to the vocals i guess i don't know okay uh, i'm gonna I, look that up see if anybody's been doing that yeah That's i don't know if that, yeah i don't know if that'll work or not because you know yeah like uh like these these acapellas are i mean they're not strictly on time i'm sure there's uh you know lag from uh the tape depending on who recorded it how they recorded it uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, you're and, in the rabbit hole with those acapella things. <laughs> yeah, that, but also, was, you know, the, the songs don't start off with the uh, the singing too. You know what I mean? That's true too. So you yeah. have to you'd have to trigger I, I the song. <laughs> and they kind of like they take away the guitar solo and then it just jumps into like the next verse or chorus. yeah, 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 yeah. So you'd have to really put it together. Hmm. You're on to something, Chris. <laughs> you know, there's a there's a funny track on uh, YouTube of uh, of uh, Jump by Van Halen without keyboards, and it sounds pretty funny. <laughs> oh, speaking of that, there's a mashup with uh, Jump and uh, Whitney Houston. How I know, you know that song? How I know? Yeah, if yeah. You ever, yeah. Wh- whatever, dude. Listen to that. It sounds like something that would be big in the '80s. <laughs> <laughs> well, they both were. <laughs> I'll send that to you. I'll send it to you. It's a pretty good one, actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, dude. But all right, man. I'll let you go. Uh, yeah. All right. Have fun. I'm gonna go uh, hang out with. Uh, I'm invited to this house where a couple of these hot chicks are just having an art night. <laughs> you have a good time there. <laughs> All right, dude. All right, see you. Later. That's Cole. He he uh he sends in some of the songs and stuff for uh for the Friday thing and uh, also for Segman. He's the one that did uh um Don't be a clown. You know that one. That's him singing. I added the uh, don't be a clown and all that stuff in there, but that's Cole. That's Cole. Uh, this fucking, I can't get past this fuck. Mm. See, now I'm just going to die while I'm trying to answer the phones. <laughs> what up? What up? Hey. Hey. <laughs> oh. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, uh, are you still having things about who uh, Ali, the what Bengals, he's stuck with? Well, we don't know. Oh, I'm gonna play Berserk. Uh, we don't know if it's uh, Bengals or uh, Reds. It's a ball player. The two ball players that she fucked. Uh, well, I was thinking that maybe AJ McCarron is the. Former backup of Bengals quarterback. I don't. I don't know the answer, so you'd have to call in and ask. She won't even tell me. No, okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll do that then. Uh, all right. I love you. All right. Love you too. Right, bye. bye. <laughs> Five one three eight one three seven nine seven nine. I haven't played this game in for Don't be a clown. I like this being on uh, just my platforms. Sometimes I go live when I do this on the, um, just the video games one, on the WEBN fucking uh, Facebook page. But that thing is just littered with fucking jerk offs, like leftover Dawn Patrol fucks. <laughs> what up? Full sucks? No. What's up, man? Who's this? No. This is Jake. What's up? Hi, Jake. Hi. You, you still playing games and shit? <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. All right. I'm I'm about ready to eat this pizza that's too damn hot. Oh. Uh. You're gonna oh, burn yeah, your yeah, mouth. Too damn. You're gonna burn your yeah, mouth. It, it causes it to bubble up on the top of your mouth. Yeah. That, yeah. 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 Yeah, that'll probably be what happens to my mouth. Yeah. Yeah. And I was thinking about uh, maybe some Fritos over here. Yeah. And maybe find some cheese in the fridge. Yeah. Uh, 
to find. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I can. Oh, there's some more pizza. Yeah. In pizza. the microwave. Yeah. Chris. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. I've got to. I've got to. I got. I got to find this cheese. Yeah. So I can dip yeah. in my Fritos. Yeah. Uh, in in the fridge. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. That's uh, uh. That's what I have to do. Uh, it, it's a very big job when you have Fritos and you don't have no cheese. Now, all right, and I, I don't think I have any cheese. God damn it! Hanging up on that fuck. <laughs> Fuck, man. Ah! Oh, fuck. Oh, there it goes. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Hi. Hi. Hey, hey. Yo. Hi, how are you? I'm good. What, did hey, you fall down? Um, uh, no, I closed uh, my refrigerator. What are you doing? Are you playing video games? You dork? Yep. Yeah. Hey, I've got some advice for you. I'm not. Don't care about what you think. Yeah, you, you're gonna like this. Uh, get on X Hamster and Google "wife entertain strangers." Uh, the picture is just a bed, like for the opening picture. You'll like it. Wait, wh wife entertain strangers? There's a lot of that shit on there. I mean, I yeah. watch it. It's the first one that pops up. There's just a picture. It looks like it moves the bed, but it's not. It's it's their own bed. You'll you'll like it. Do is it someone you know? No, 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 no. Huh? I just happened to find it. You you love it? Try. It. Can you put it online? Can you no. Put it on Twitch? No. <laughs> yeah, well, you're gonna enjoy it. Uh, your wife's gone, and that's gonna be your happy ending tonight. Well, I will watch it. Yes, for sure. When I'm all done with this shit. Okay, if you watch it and like it, bring it up on um, on your show on Monday. <laughs> okay. <laughs> there's a great there's a great one uh, that I saved. Oh, let me see if I have the name of it. Hold on. Uh, I have oh, a. Wait, hold on. How do you save it? Uh, I, I, I the um, I have ways to save it. I'm not gonna explain that shit to you. Oh, okay. <laughs> um, I probably wouldn't understand it. Let me see here. Oh, a blindfolded wife. No, 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 no. Huh. No, no, what? Listen oh, to this. that's what you say? Yeah, yeah, it's blindfolded wife, fuck hubby, and black friend. Okay, this, I'll check it out. Yeah, this, this, uh, hold on, I'm right in the middle of this stuff. But um, this guy, I don't know if it's real or not. It seems real, and it's kind of hot. This guy is, like, getting it with his wife. She's got a blindfold on. And then he goes, hold on, I'll be right back. And he leaves. And then uh, his friend comes in, and it's this, this black guy. And uh, he starts doing stuff to her, and she thinks it's the husband. And then he's talking to her and stuff. And then he goes, oh, baby, take off your blindfold. Let me look in your eyes. And she takes it off. She's like, what the? Oh, my God. And then the guy starts drilling her, and it's really, really hot. It's not fake. I don't I don't know. I mean, it, it doesn't seem to be. She might have been in on it. You know, I, I don't know. We, it, it's not produced, and she's on a supermodel, that's for sure. Um, it's not produced, you know, like a like a major company or anything, but it's uh, it's pretty hot. 
I like it. All right. Well, I'll check yeah. it out. Yeah. All we'll right. Check well, yeah. Cool. I like well, that kind of shit. I also like, uh, for now. I, I like watching, uh, 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 oh, that guy's gone. I like watching, uh, you know, Wife at the Glory Hole. That shit, too. But it's got to be like grainy footage and stuff, like a guy with a cell phone. None of this shit with, uh, uh, you know, with the, where it's bright in there and the fucking, it looks like it's uh, produced by Lucasfilms. <laughs> hmm. Phone number is uh, 513-813-7979. Mm -mm -mm -mm. What up? Yeah, Chris. I just want to let you know I found the keys for my Cheetos, man. All right, man. Thanks, man. Some real douches. It's like we're doing the regular fucking radio show. <laughs> Mm -mm 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 -mm. Don't be a clown. <sighs> this shit's hard too. <laughs> ah, Don't be a clown. I'm going to bounce out of here in about five minutes, I think. I think. It's kind of fun, though. A lot of losers out on a, uh, or a lot of losers home, I should say. Like me on a Friday night. Mm 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 mm. It's hard to answer this shit while I'm playing, too. What up? What's up, Chris? You doing all right, man? Yeah, no girls are calling. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, I was going to tell you about uh, my wife and I's date tonight. Your, your wife? We, uh, my wife and I, our date, we, uh, we went to the roast house. Yeah. Got sloshbuckled. Good for you, dude. That's what the roast house is for. <laughs> the roast house. You got to go to the, uh, what was it, uh, the House of Wieners. <laughs> That's a real one, too. The House of yeah. Wieners. Hey, when you were in Atlanta, did you ever go to uh, uh, Ruth Chris? Oh, of course. Uh, Ruth Chris is one of my favorite spots uh, as as far so as a, nice, uh, as, what's that? I said it's so nice. Yeah, well, I've, I went there uh, because there wasn't, uh, like, here in... Ready to serve you. Oh, hold on a minute. I'm going to play the roast house thing. Um, where, where I uh, am now, here in the Cincinnati, uh, we have uh, Jeff Ruby's here, which is a steakhouse that blows anything away. But when I'm out of town and I uh, go place, you know, every place has got a Ruby's or a, uh, a Ruth Chris, so I'll, I'll hit those places. Well, I didn't know that. I thought yeah. that was specific to Atlanta. No, no. Ruth Chris is a chain. Gotcha. It's good though. It's it's. Um, I mean, it's oh, worth the money. Yeah, it's solid. I love that. But you know, we have one here, but I don't go there because you know, like I said, I go to uh, anything Jeff Ruby. I got you. Atlanta. I haven't been in Atlanta in, in, in years. Shit, dude. We. I'm. I'm not gonna lie to you. I miss the hell out of you. Like well, it sucks out here. There is no rock station anymore. Yeah. Well, there's Rock 100.5. Yeah, man, but they've been through so many producers and hosts, it's unreal. Yeah. Like, it's just, uh, they had um, uh, Southside Steve on there for a little bit, and then he, I think he's gone now. Um, no, he's and then a, he, Jason Bates. He, no, he's in Afternoons now. 
Oh, is he? Okay. Yeah. I don't know who's hosting mornings anymore. Like I said, I just it's I a, turn it, it on. It's syndication. They gave up. <laughs> yeah, they. I guess they think that some. Uh, I guess they think that Atlanta wants to hear a a, a show from Washington D.C. So that's what you get. In our old station, the project, you know, they blew it up to uh, make room for a top forty station, and uh, yeah, I know, dude. That man, I'm telling you, well, one it's day gone. I, was I mean, it's, off, it, and then it, the next day it's gone. What's sad is Atlanta is a you know it's a major market, and uh, that station is just uh, they don't even have a staff anymore. They they gave up on it. They blew it up. Oh, really? Yeah, they blew it up. Put a top forty on there with a full staff. And I guess it failed because they're all gone, and it's just robots. Oh well. They had a they had a good little setup whenever they were doing project like in the afternoon. You had the scratch and sniff where yeah, yeah. like you could pretty much pick your own songs to go on the radio and stuff, which was nice. Well, jelly. Then, you know, it was you that jelly. Th- it was that jelly thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yep. No, I know it was fun when we were there, but uh, yeah, you know they the they they own the station, so they can do what they want with it. True. Yep. So oh, well. I don't know if this is like a, a sensitive topic or anything, but what, what happened with Thomas and me? I, I missed something. Well, it's nothing sensitive. I mean, t- Thomas was fired uh, when the COVID cuts happened. And uh, then I took uh, money out of my salary to get him hired back. And he said, no. Oh, shit. Yep, it wasn't enough for him, I guess. Um, and then uh, I think his wife wanted him to babysit while she works, which is fine. Whatever he and wants he's to got do. Like kids, right? Yeah, I don't know. But then, then, and then, Meat wanted to. Uh, he let his contract finish, uh, so he could go do his own thing. I guess he's uh he's now uh, like a part of uh, management at another station and uh, doing an afternoon shift. Oh, good for him. Yeah, I mean that's what. Uh, he didn't want to say it all on the air. Uh, well, I mean, he didn't have the job yet. Uh, but when he was leaving, he didn't want to say goodbye or anything. He just kind of wanted to phase off. So, I got you, yeah. Because yeah. I, I was driving there for a little bit, and I was listening to you guys every day. Uh, and then I took a break from driving, and I was at the warehouse for a while. And then went yeah. back to driving and turned it on. I was like, man, where the hell did everybody go? Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what COVID did. Yep. Oh, they, 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 they change everything on me, yet they expect the same stuff. Because remember, <laughs> there was there was Dubs, Thomas, Meat, and me. Then they took dub, they took Dubs away because they fired the program director and they wanted to save money or whatever. So they just get, you know they gave it to Dubs. So he left uh, the morning show, and then they fired Thomas, and then they uh, you know then Meat walked out the door. And but they still go. Hey, we need ratings from you. <laughs> man, uh, my favorite bit was uh, the meat horn. Man. I enjoyed that meat horn. Yeah. Well, I, I mean, that was so cool how that dude could get the damn car by the horn. Yeah, meat horn was fun. All those games. I mean, all that shit was fun. And uh, but you know, after a while, I mean, what is what did a lot of people say about? Uh, Shows, TV, radio, anything. After a while, they go, "Oh, it's you know, it's the same, it's the same." So it's actually a nice little uh, forced uh, reinvention, I guess. Yeah, sure. I mean, Allie's great. I mean, yeah. I, I enjoy Allie. She's uh, she's got a good sense of humor. She seems to fit really well with you. Well, she's actually really evil as fuck. You haven't seen a lot of that yet. <laughs> she is. <laughs> she is an evil, evil motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> but it'll come out more. And she fucks oh, like and she fucks uh uh you know, pro athletes. She actually does or that that's just a joke. No, no, she well she she, she told us there's two of them she fucked uh that are um ball players. She won't tell us who. Uh Either, and then the, what's the one girl with the the fucking snort? Uh, that's who, who, who that, that's Sarah. Sarah, yeah, yeah. I, I think she's cheating on her husband for sure. <laughs> well, <laughs> she's she's actually a good chick, you know. Uh, but the thing is, is uh, you know, like it, those people are all in our new studio. They're all right outside our door. the 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 news department is in the hallway. Their desks are out in the hallway, so it's like they they you know. That's why we drag them all in and shit. Seg sits right out there. Everybody sits right out there. So, 
you know, when when you don't have a staff anymore, you got to make something out of uh, you know the fucking. You got to yeah, yeah nothing. But if the maintenance man walks by, I'll have to fuck. I'll have him read uh, you know the the movies. What's big in the movies? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking sex is great, though, man. I love sex. Me too. I love on Fridays when people call in and fuck with him. Because he's confused. Yeah. He's yeah, always confused. Yeah, he's always confused. But he's got, like, uh, I don't know, he's always got a witty comeback for somebody. Like, he's just well, I he's w- so w- dry. W- witty, witty is a strong word. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah. Witty and Seg don't really go together. <laughs> he's always got that smart ass, smart ass comment to come back with it. That's what I mean. Like he's yeah, just, he's perfect with it. He tries to. All right, That's great man. I'm bouncing out of here, dude. I'm gonna shut this thing down. You're the last caller. Hey, go ahead, brother. You have a good night, man. I guess we'll hear from you Monday morning. Yep. All right, man. Take care. Right, see you. Yeah. There's some party people from Atlanta calling in. I'm going to uh, bounce out of here. I'm going to go upstairs. I'm probably going to watch some, uh, I don't know what's on. I have all these pay-per-view channels and stuff. I usually find some, like, boxing some from another country or something like that. But I'll uh, I'll see you again. I'll be playing videos again uh, coming up. And don't forget, I will be doing uh, Club Chris again coming up late fall, probably after, uh, probably middle of uh, October, the end of uh, uh, October. All right. Wait, wait. Hello? Come on, bud. What? Hey, sorry. I had to call. Who is it? Colin. Who? Colin from OTP Philly. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> Go. Okay. Uh, all right. That's uh, more of the Philly brilliance. All right. I'm going to go. I'll see you guys. <laughs>